Hi, um, I wanted to do a quick video, if I can do this without getting interrupted at work. Um, if I can't, then I guess I'll delete this. Anyway, um, I always have a hard time uploading to YouTube, so I better make sure it's not too, too long. But I just wanted to, I was going to write this on a blog, and I've decided, you know, maybe I'll just do video blogs. But um, this is my, what week? This is the 24... Um, to this is about the third week out for me from my bariatric sleeve surgery. Um, the preparations leading up to it was about four months long for me. I had to go through like four months. Um, I had to meet with all these different doctors and do all these different things, and I'm going to do a, a video on this that. And then the surgery, which to me was so, so wonderful, completely fabulous, in, out, it was great, no pain, blah, blah, blah. First week home after surgery, great. But the second and third week have been hell. And I'm hoping I'll be like one of those um, people that give birth it's really bad and then in a year or two they're like oh I want a baby because they forget all about the feeling you know <clears throat> yeah this has been awful so right now I'm a couple weeks out from surgery maybe third week and I'm back at work but it's been miserable for me just the second and third week maybe the fourth week now um, I can't get my protein shakes down. You're supposed to get so many ounces of protein shake in because you're not able to get it with your food. And um, after being on pure liquids for four weeks, I'm now onto soft and pureed foods. Not soft, pureed foods. But I can have scrambled eggs and mashed potatoes. Thank God. Um, I could drink water, but I'm not getting enough water in that what I'm required to I'm not getting all my protein shakes in um, you don't understand how difficult it is it's like you can drink protein shakes for four weeks three weeks by the fourth week there's like a block that opens up in your throat and you can get ready to drink it and it would taste like chocolate milk before it was fine but then it's like you've had enough you cannot drink any more of that like your body's just so burned out on it you just start to drink it and it's a block you will either throw it up or it will not go down it's it's crazy um, so I'm not getting enough of that the water I really 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 have to try on hard because you can't take a regular drink like you would before you can only do it in sips and so you have to drink a lot of water in a day and just to do it in tiny sips all day that's really harder than you realize and um, so I'm not getting enough water down, not getting enough protein down, like no protein. Um, I can't take my medicine because I'm not allowed to swallow any pills. So you're supposed to crush all your meds or take in a liquid form. Oh my God. They taste disgusting crushed. I think all of them. I tried hiding it in like sugar-free chocolate pudding and it still makes me vomit. Awful, awful, awful. I've been throwing up. In fact, the other day I threw up so bad, which you can't see it now. Maybe you can a little bit, but I popped blood vessels all over my face, all under my eyes, over my eyes, all over my face, everywhere. You can still see a little bit of marks on it. I looked like either it was really a bad case of acne or a chicken box, but it's finally going away if I don't get sick today. Anyway, I just want to explain this feeling because it's like you're really hungry, or at least this is how it is with me. You're really, really hungry. I mean, you feel like you just want to eat something so bad. And then you have like a bite of scrambled eggs or two bites, and it's all little, and you have to chew it a whole, whole bunch before it goes down. And you take two bites, and you're full, but you're starving. Does that make sense? Like... It's almost like there's nothing in your stomach and you're so hungry, but your throat is completely filled up and you can't fit anymore. So it's like you try, but if you take another bite, you're throwing up, but you're still hungry. So you're stuffed, but you're hungry. 
Does that even make sense? I don't even know any other way to explain it. But as of right now, this week, would I do this surgery again knowing what I know now, how I feel? No. Do I regret it? Yeah, kind of. I mean, I've lost 27 pounds, and I'm really excited about that. And I know I would have never been able to do that on my own. I've been walking like two miles every day. I'm really, really, really trying hard. I'm trying harder than anybody anybody realizes. I have a great support group. I've got some friends that are really close to me, especially my friend Heather. She's been amazing. Like I would have never made it without her. And all my siblings, they've been amazing, checking on me. You know, some of them call and check on me daily or send a text and stuff. So I've got the support and I went through everything beforehand, but it's really hard. It's really hard. So I'm hoping, I should have been doing this each week. I should have done a little video diary so that way I could look back on it and see the different changes that are happening. So my next video, I think I will go back and and tell what it was like during the phase <laughs> leading up to it or um, the doctor's appointments and stuff like that or surgery. But now the phone's ringing, so I gotta go.